Good morning, good morning, good morning, SJ Fishing. We're gonna do the second day of Tulloch here. I went yesterday with LT. Go make sure you watch that video. Take a peek at that, very short, very short, but I wanna show you something. If you go back to my earlier videos, you may notice something. This wall was full. Full of tackle. Go back and watch those. They're not so great, but the video's a video. But anyway, I sold it all. I sold it all. And I'll explain why in the, a few we'll get on the road here we're going to Tulloch again day two man let's get it I'm gonna undo these batteries real quick get the boat out get going weather should be good not too much wind out there I'm excited but yeah I'm excited a little bit of a solo mission no LT he's got some things to do today but we'll see if we could put some in the boat make a video out of it gonna show you what I do in the morning to set up stuff get ready here got some lunch got the big camera I'll show you the behind the scenes what I do in the morning it's early I would say uh, I don't have to leave this early but I'm already up awake look at all these rods all this stuff I got in the back a lot of it's you know fishing related clothes extra clothes extra shoes bibs all that good stuff Move the lawnmower. Money for the boat ramp. stop here i'm at the mcdonald's in oakdale I'm trying to turn on some light and getting this drive through make sure the boat can go through it i've already been here a couple times so i know it can hi can i get um two of your uh sausage burritos two sausage burritos yeah. hot sauce? no thank you All right, can you I, a large vanilla iced coffee with extra vanilla large iced vanilla coffee with extra vanilla okay and that's it this one's gonna be 671 Thank you. Thank you. She said first window or second window. There's three windows at this one. Alright, we'll go. The second one I'm probably wrong. Let's try door number three. <laughs> oh no. Not gonna be that one. That was dumb. I don't know why they have so many damn windows. That was dumb. I don't know why they have so many windows. It's too early. Too early for this. This is a busy McDonald's though, so I get it. I get it. Alrighty, so real quick on the tackle, I want to talk about that. If you haven't seen my other videos, go back and watch them. I put them out a year ago never made a video since I kind of want to get back into it I really enjoy it I want to be creative long story short I had a bunch of tackle on the wall bunch of tackle I think the biggest part of why I got it was the deal I guess it was a good deal it was like a steal you know you get all excited when you go to the flea market or you find something on fa uh, Facebook marketplace and that's where I found it so the deal man was there so I got it and a lot of it also was from those uh, bo uh, tackle box subscriptions like mystery tackle box I did lucky tackle box for a minute um, right now I'm still getting six cents I'm trying to downsize that one uh, I don't really need that anymore um, now about those tackle boxes real quick I like them it's fun to look and see what you get but it just got overwhelming too many stuff or too much stuff and just didn't make sense and, and honestly you know those to try something new I get it but it's not for that lake there there's different baits for that lake that you go to every lake is different you find out what they're hitting on and I just couldn't I tried with some of those baits but it didn't work I'm glad I did it we did some work on the trailer uh, we're going camping here so keep an eye out on those videos I want to do camping videos in our trailer show you what, how we do that and see if you guys have any other ideas but anyway long story short sold it all it was probably a three thousand four thousand dollar value i sold it pretty cheap just to you know let somebody else enjoy it let somebody else experience all the 
they got a good deal and he did he got a really good deal but anyway we are heading to Tulloch. We are on 108 right now. Just got some McDonald's. I had to get out because I went to the damn wrong window, but oh well, it is what it is. All right, we have made it. Made it to the ramp. Got everything ready. I was here a little bit earlier. I'm gonna drop in right now. I'm anxious. Made it just in time. Somebody else is here too. That's crazy. Good deal. He's got the same idea. Little chilly, little chilly out. Not too bad though. Get her in. That's what sucks about doing it by yourself. Is it feels like a lot more work, but it's all good. safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Knowing me, I would have slipped and fell. I was already sliding around on that ramp, that dock. That, that, turn that off, that. All the keys, sunglasses, hat. I don't think I got my hat. It's gonna be sunny today. Go back to the car. Sit right there. Good thing. Good thing. See you out on the water. Let's get it. First spot chucking this lipless out there. Red in color. Seeing what I can do. Cast it a couple times and then move on. <sighs> See what I can get. If I can get anything on top. They're suspended here. It's a good spot right here, first spot. I've had some good luck out here, but that was when the water was up in summer. Real good out here. It is cold out. I think it's like 34, 38. Water temp says 50. It's about 6.30. So we will see. There's a lot of fish on the graph. Throw this around a couple more times. Maybe go to the jig or something else. Maybe the drop shot. I don't know. We'll see. Light wind, nothing too bad. So far, so good. Now if we could only land a fish. Sitting in about 63 foot of water. Decided to cast this out there, see if I can get something out in open water. And there's the bank right next to me. Two more casts with this. One more cast. Let's get it up. Trying to stay in between that 40 and 50 depth. I don't want to go too deep on them. I'm so impatient. I do not like this winter fishing. It's terrible. Plus, I'm new at it, so. Let it just sit. Now my retrieve is burn, stop. Burn, stop. Burn, stop. Strike King, lipless. See if we can get something on the drop shot. Was fishing with the jig and I got somebody else's line. Let's see if there's anything at the end of it, man. Look at all this line. 
It's fishing the jig pulled up. No, nope, that's just it. Gosh dang it. I thought we would find something. Just somebody else's line. We won't throw that back in the water. We'll put it right there. Fishing this jig and pulled up some line. I was all excited. Thinking, man, maybe we'll uh, get something. No. I guess the benefit of that is I wasn't snagged on it with that lure, so that's good. I didn't go to the drop shot yet. Figured pick up this jig, give it a shot for a minute. I'm sitting in about 40, 41 foot of water. See what this can do. I just thought that was cool. Pull up that line, pull up like a, like a Texas rig or something. But it was just the line. Oh, well. It's hard fishing slow for me, man. It's so hard. I do not like it at all. If I can get one bass out of this spot, I'll be happy. It's kind of bouncing it off the bottom. Moving forward when I reel in. I don't want to be at a spot all day, but we'll see. We shall see. I just want one fish. If I can get one fish today, the best forecast said it was what fair today? 5.0 fair. So that ain't too bad, I guess. I'm excited. Excited. It's always exciting when you're fishing. There's some at the bottom. Well, spot number one didn't pay out. Uh, now we're in spot two. Seeing what's up. I'm throwing a uh, some kind of Z-Man worm on this wobble head. Kind of a green color with red flake in it. I don't know. We'll see. Right now I'm sitting about 20 feet of water. So yeah, spot one didn't pan out. Tried the drop shot. And lipless, shallow. Nothing. Nothing. And it is what time is it? 7.53, got to my first spot about 6.30, nothing, nothing at all, so far it's been an hour, still at spot two, I got snagged, Lauren showed me this trick with a weight, you clip onto your line, let it go all the way down and it'll get your stuff back. So let's see what it did. Wobble head on that Z-Man worm. Got it snagged on something and there it is. It's a pretty neat little trick. Saves you a lot of money and it works. Just clip it onto your line, send it down there. This is three ounces. I think uh, Lawrence found it on YouTube. A pretty cool trick. I heard you could do it with a spark plug, he says. You could do it with other stuff, I heard. There, there are lure retrieval. Um, you can buy it, but this is pretty cool. Makes sense, works. Get you back out on the water. All right, finally, third spot, but guess what it is? Okay, it's a little little guy. Fishing deep, drop shot, and head is boring. Boring. Little guy, oh, I'm not happy with him. Oh, he came back though for it. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Cold, cold fish, cold fish. Got that off a drop shot. I'm in 74 feet of water. About time I got one. Third spot. Let's let it go. And there it goes. Oh man. Let's get it back out there. But yeah, other than that, nothing. 10.09, oh, it's been terrible, terrible, terrible. Sitting 71 feet, casting up. Ah, hopefully we get some more. Alrighty, well that's it, just one fish, one fish. I, I wasn't too happy with today. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, it was rough for me. It's hard for me to slow down and fish slow, and that's what it was. I barely felt that one that I did get, I barely felt it. And I was just basically dead sticking it, leaving it in the water, and trying to turn, I was listening to the radio and stuff like that, and listening to my speaker and i just couldn't do it just couldn't pull it off one one dink i won't even call it a dink but it is what it is that's how it goes um other than that hopefully you like the scenery something different we'll see what, what i can do about it until next time see ya